Hey everyone, Dr. Yu here. Today we're going to look at lesson three of the reading practice. Um, this is about following a given set of directions. So here are the learning objectives from the ATIT's study manual. Basically, you need to recognize the relationship among different steps in the procedure, right? So what happens first, what happens next, and what happens last? And you need to be able to identify key terms, right, to help you justify the order of the steps. So key terms include things like first, second, um, next, or after, or, you know, last or finally. So those are the key terms that you're looking for when you read the procedure. Okay, so here are the common questions you might see for this type of um, reading questions. For example, what procedure is described in the passage? So you, know, you need to know what this procedure is about. Can you identify the key terms that signify order? And you may see questions on that. They will give you, you know, different set of uh, words that you need to identify which one actually indicate the order of the steps. And you also need to know the terms that identify a step before or after or happen at the same time with another step in the procedure. All right, now let's look at a quick practice. So this is a specific procedure. And on this slide, I have two questions. So I'm gonna give you five seconds to pause the video. Now, before you pause the video, remember in the very first video, I mentioned that it might be helpful to kind of go through the questions quickly before you actually read the procedure or the paragraph. This will help you kind of uh, focus your attention on the important things that may answer the questions. All right, now you can pause the video. Okay, so that's about five seconds. So hopefully you have selected correct answers for um, the questions. So the first question, what procedure is described in this passage? So what the procedure is about? Now you probably remember some key words such as insert a long needle, right? To the injection site and you have to choose the thickest part of the deltoid muscle. So this is a procedure about intra muscular injections. So C is the correct answer. You're not injecting anything to the veins, right? So it's not intravenous injection. Even though um, the skin is mentioned in the third step, it has really nothing to do with the actual injection. It's just how you need to uh, kind of angle the, the needle. So this is not about subcutaneous injection, which goes into the hypodermis layer, right? That's the layer that's below dermis, below the actual skin. And it's either intradermal injections. So intradermal injection will go into the dermis layer of the skin. Okay, so that's the correct answer. C for the first question. Second question, what are the key terms that signify order in this procedure? So you probably notice the things like first, right? Next. And there's also another word that you don't see a lot, but um, it is a word that signifies order. And that's a once, right? So once defined, that means once you have defined the thickest part of the muscle, then you can do the next step. Okay, so the correct answer is A. Um, none of the other options really have the word that signify what happens first, next, the last. Okay, so there are two more questions. So again, you can pause the video. Okay, so for question three, which key term identifies a step taking place after a previous step? Okay, so which one is it? I just explained this, right? So once is the correct answer. So once you finish this step, then you can proceed to the next step. So B is the correct answer. Number four, which key term identifies a step co-occurring along with another step? So the correct answer is a while, yeah. Um, so you can see in step four, right? Retain the pressure while the needle is still inserted. Okay, so while that indicates you have two things going on at the same time. All right, very last question. You can pause the video here. Okay, number five. 
which of the following statements can you infer from the procedure? Okay, so we're just gonna go over the options one by one. A, long needles are often hard to obtain for injections. So long needles are mentioned in the first step, but it has nothing to do about uh, the availability of long needles, right? So A is not right. B, aspiration is common for this type of injection. Now, if you go to the fifth step, you will see that if proper techniques and locations are followed, aspiration is not necessary. So this indicates most of, in most of the cases, um, nurses would follow these procedures so they do not have to do aspiration. So B is not correct. C, patients are better wearing long sleeve clothing. That's not correct. This is kind of like a, a test to see if you know where the belt weight of muscle is, right? So if you wear long sleeve clothing, uh, you will have to roll it up, right? So that's not very convenient. D, patients may receive multiple injections on the same arm. That's the correct answer because if you go to the very last bullet point, it does say if multiple injections given in the same extremity, then you need to make it as far apart as possible, right? So D is the correct answer, okay? So this is my reference. I modified this kind of procedure from a, a procedure on different types of injections. And last, if the video is helpful, please uh, subscribe, like the video, uh, comment if you have questions, and certainly share the video. That will be very great support for me. So thank you. I will see you next time.